Oh, hi, I don't see you there, because this is a pre-recorded video after all, and most importantly, I can't see through computer screens. I know, shocking. But I'm going off on a tangent, let's get back to the circumference. I was casually looking up random combinations of words, like I do every Saturday, when I came across flower cards, and more importantly, Nintendo. But why? I'm forcing you to ask so that the video can progress. Well, isn't it obvious? Nintendo used to make Hanafuda cards, which translates to, well, flower cards. Nintendo was founded by Fusahiro Yamauchi, and it started life as the Nintendo Playing Card Company. Nintendo found some success with their Hanafuda cards, and their Hanafuda cards were small, hand-drawn cards with different designs on them. Some of them even featured Disney characters like Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. Some of the designs on Nintendo's Hanafuda cards get snuck into modern Nintendo games, like Mario Maker for example, with the bird. And no, I don't mean a middle finger. It was Nintendo, not Stone Cold Steve Austin. Although, maybe they were the Godfather. You'll see what I mean in a minute. An even stranger fact about Nintendo is that their first major customers were the Yakuza, a crime syndicate. And not only that, but they were also using it for illegal gambling. And as the old saying goes, sell to a crime syndicate and become one of the biggest playing card companies in your country. And that's just what happened to Nintendo. Except Nintendo didn't just become one of the biggest. They became THE BIGGEST! In 1949, Hiroshi Yamauchi stepped on the scene to become the president of Nintendo. And in 1963, the Nintendo Playing Card Company was renamed to Nintendo. But... Hiroshi Yamauchi was worried about how the older people in the company would react to his brand new ideas. So he fired them all before they had the chance. And I mean like, that's one way to solve the problem. But to be fair to him, he was probably right anyway, because after he got rid of them, he started a brand new line of pornographic playing cards. Not something I thought I'd be saying today. He also started love hotels. Worst, worst of all, he started a taxi service. Nintendo's love hotels didn't make much money at the time anyway, probably because anyone who is or ever was a Nintendo fan is a loser virgin. But rumor has it that they were only set up so Hiroshi Yamauchi could use them for free. What a legend. Now Nintendo are so family friendly that when they finally reveal that Mario has nipples, people freak out like, does this mean Bowser has nipples too? Huh? And more importantly, Toad? Mm. Well, I'm sorry to break it to you, but Mario is well known for being Italian and Surprise, surprise, they are humans. But don't worry about the failing love hotels, guys. Nintendo still got their thriving taxi service, right? Yes, actually, that is correct. Except the only reason it's doing so well is because Nintendo aren't paying the employees. It, it collapsed after a few months. But what's next for Nintendo? I ask myself pretending to be an audience member because not only is nobody watching, but I am also incredibly lonely. Well, what do you think they would do after a corrupt taxi service, uh, cards being used for illegal gambling, and uh, love hotels? Children's toys, of course. And the children's toys were great. So great, in fact, that a grabber called the Ultra Hand saved the business. Except I lied to you, they weren't actually so great. They made a rip off Lego. And also Lego, they tried to sue Nintendo and lost. Which makes it weird seeing as they're working with them now on the NES and Lego Mario sets. Best friends, bitter enemies, am I right? 
That was a reference to 2K15, which in itself was a reference to the feud between Shawn Michaels and Diesel, which had the tagline, good friends, better enemies. And Shawn Michaels is the greatest wrestler. You can't say otherwise. He's so good. I just pissed off all the Bret Hart fans, but come on, he's so much better. Anyway, after Nintendo made toys, they went on to make video games. And we all know what happened there. They went on to make the Wii U and Virtual Boy. Just a couple of highlights. It's so surprising to see Nintendo have such a strange past. Compared to, well, everything that's not nothing. I won't really elaborate further on Nintendo's video game career. Because maybe I'll do a video on that someday. And remember, Waka Waka.